show you how to crochet a neck warmer or a longer poncho like that a kind of cape crochet cape in this version you see this is very short and I will use it as a neck warmer but of course you can do it much longer and in this case you will get a very nice crochet poncho or cape I will explain you everything step by step it's very easy it's a very nice stitch pattern you see we will use a shell stitch alternating it with double simple double crochet solid double crochet and that's it I think we can start and this is my version of my poncho Picasso do you like it I like it so much for this project I'm using a worsted weight yarn in two colors this uh, white and light gray together and then this gray solid gray a worsted weight yarn to be worked with a six millimeter crochet hook slip note to start insert your hook and now chain 60 for every size sixty chains now be careful not to twist the chain into the first chain slip stitch to join chain 3 which takes the place of the first double crochet into the next chain double crochet one into the next one double crochet one go ahead like that with one double crochet in each one of the stitches below of the chains below stop at double crochet number 31 we have to mark double crochet number 31 I put a stitch marker on the double crochet number 31 then I'm going ahead doing one double crochet till I get to the end of this round at the end of this round slip stitch to join into the chain number two you did at the beginning of this round as replacement of the first double crochet like that we are ready to start round number two i'm going to start round number two with the half of the first corner i'm going to create two corners one into the first stitch and the second one into the stitch number 31 the first one will be done only the half so chain 2 which takes the place of the first double crochet into the same stitch double crochet 1 this is just the half of my first corner I will complete the second half at the end of this second row <clears throat> now going ahead chain one yarn over skip the next 
two stitches into the next one double crochet two one and two chain one into the same stitch double crochet two one and two skip the next one two stitches into the next one single crochet one going ahead yarn over skip next two stitches into the next one again double crochet one chain one double crochet two into the same stitch one and two skip the next two stitches into the next one single crochet one repeat till you get to the stitch number 31 where you have to create your second corner I did one, two, three, four, five shells. I am quite to the stitch number 31. From here now chain one into the stitch number 31. Now my second corner. Double crochet two, one and two. Chain two again into the same stitch double crochet two remove your stitch marker and put it into the middle of your second corner Now going ahead, chain one, yarn over, skip one, two stitches and restart again. Double crochet two. Chain one, double crochet two into the same stitch. Skip next two stitches now one and two into the next one single crochet one and go ahead like that repeating the five shells till you get to the end of this round Now going ahead towards the end of my round, at the end of this round, I will show you how to finish this round. At the end of this round, shell number five. Now I have to complete the first corner, so that's why I'm chaining one. 
and into the first stitch of this round double crochet two one half double crochet into the chain number two so I completed the first corner two okay one and two corners okay ready for round number two okay ready for round number three you see I am um, exactly in the middle of the corner that's why I replaced the chain the two chains with one half double crochet so in this way I am in the right position to start a new round chain 2 which takes the place of the first double crochet into the same space double crochet 1 one so I get one and two double crochet for the half of my first corner now chain one into the chain one space below after the first corner double crochet one chain one into the same space double crochet one once again of this stitch you see now chain one into the middle of the shell below into the chain one space single crochet one oh sorry now chain one yarn over into the single crochet below double crochet one chain one double crochet one chain one single crochet one into the chain one space of the shell below and go ahead like that till you get to the second corner so chain one show you again double crochet one chain one double crochet one chain one single crochet one okay you see I'm quite to the second corner I just have the space for the last V stitch chain one into the space here below one double crochet chain one double crochet one again into the same space chain one and now I am ready for creating the second corner into the middle of the corner below remove the stitch marker and into this chain two space double crochet two chain two for the corner again into the same space double crochet two and so now you see I got my second corner into the middle of the corner below now chain one into the space below double crochet one chain one double crochet one and again chain one single crochet one into the middle of the shell below you see that I have to chain one before and after each corner this is the most important rule you have to remind of chain one before chain one after each corner okay now go ahead like that till you get to the end of this round three chain one 
double crochet one chain one double crochet one chain one single crochet one okay towards the end of this round Okay, you see just the last space for the last V stitch. Chain one into this space below, double crochet one, chain one, double crochet one, chain one, and now I'm ready to complete the first cone up here below into this space, double crochet two. and one half double crochet into the chain number two so i'm ready for round number four ready for round number four chain two which takes the place of the first double crochet double crochet one into the same space below now it's very easy because you just have to uh, double crochet one in each one of the stitches below. Uh, be careful not to skip any chain. You have to double crochet one in the chains as well. Okay, so one double crochet into the double crochet below one double crochet into this second double crochet below one double crochet into the chain below double crochet one into the double crochet below double crochet one into the chain below into the double crochet into the chain into the single crochet so and going ahead like that double crochet one in each one of the stitches below be careful not to skip any chain okay go ahead like that till you get to the second corner my stitch pattern is now complete because you know now from now on you just have to repeat round two, three and four, two, three and four, two, three and four. So many times you need for the desired length for your cape. Okay. Now I show you how to restart the first row round of this pattern chain two which takes the place of the first double crochet into the same space double crochet one now chain one yarn over this time i have to skip after each corner three stitches instead of two only because i have one stitch increasing so one two three into the next one my shell double crochet two chain one double crochet two skip the next two stitches into the next one single crochet one and go ahead like that with the next shell skip one and two into the next one double crochet two chain one double crochet two into the same stitch skip one and two stitches into the next one single crochet one and go ahead like that till we get to the next corner okay i'm going towards the second corner you see now i have one two and three stitches to skip chain one into the center of the corner below a new corner double crochet two chain two double crochet two okay 
Okay. Now I'll show you what to do uh, after the corner. Chain one and now one, two, three, double crochet to be skipped into the next one, the shell. Double crochet two, chain one, double crochet two, skip two stitches into the next one, single crochet one and do exactly what you did by the other side going towards the next corner. Three stitches to be skipped only before and after each corner. For the rest, the regular two stitches to be skipped. Okay, and you should do that from this point on till the end. And now the refining, starting from a point where you like at the bottom of your cape, insert your hook, pick up the yarn, pull it through, chain one, and then chain two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Into the third chain from the hook, two double crochet, one and two. Into the same stitch, slip stitch to join and form this picot. Then chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Enter the same very first stitch and single crochet. Go ahead into the next stitch, single crochet one, into the next one, single crochet one, and now a new fringe. Six nine, uh, chain nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Into the third chain from the hook, double crochet two, one and two. Okay, and now again, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Enter the same stitch and single crochet one into the next one, single crochet one into the next one, single crochet one, and oh, sorry, I was wrong. Sorry, oh, sorry, double crochet two into the same stitch, slip stitch to join and form a round. Sorry. Now chain six, three, four, five and six into the same stitch, single crochet one into the next one, single crochet one into the next one, single crochet one. And now repeat. You have to do that all the way around one complete round and then you will join at the end of it. Okay, we are ready now for working at the neck. Starting from one stitch here around the neck. Pick up the yarn pull it through, chain one, into the same stitch, single crochet one, and go ahead all the way around, working one single crochet in each one of the stitches of the neck. 
opening all the way around like that. At the end of the first row, uh, slip stitch to join into the first single crochet. Now two more rounds with single crochet, chain one, enter the very first stitch and single crochet one and now single crochet one in each one of the stitches below. Totally three rounds single crochet. After three complete rounds with single crochet, now I have to change my stitch pattern. Chain four, yarn over, skip the next stitch into the next one, double crochet one, chain one. I'm going to do the next stitch all the way around. Yarn over, skip the next stitch into the next one, double crochet one, chain one. And again, the same all the way around. At the end of this round, slip stitch to join into the chain number three. Start a new round, chain four, yarn over, one double crochet into the double crochet below, chain one, and repeat all the way around. <laughs> 